So speaking of wives, you just wrapped up a hot wife tour in Vegas. Um, can you tell us exactly like what happens on those tours? What yeah. So this is actually our first one. Um, I did not create this. I had a couple, uh, got, uh, in touch with me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of their, uh, hot wife tour. They wanted to start this tour where we travel to different cities and it's not just like one or two of them. There's like six or seven. Uh, that we got like all the hot wives, you know, from different cities and states. And uh, our first visit was to Vegas. And this was just um, last uh, Thursday to Sunday. And um, we went to Vegas and we did a, a masquerade orgy night. And then uh, the next night was a cocktail orgy night and then sluts on the strip. And, uh, the, the orgies, we got all kinds of, uh, male talent. I think we had like 16, the first night male talent come in, everyone's tested, you know, verified, like they have all their paperwork and all of that. Uh, and we just, we had this huge suite and we all just went to town and it's not a gangbang because there's multiple women. Mm -hmm. So it's more of an orgy. Right. Um, you know, everybody just all of a sudden just starts going at it. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was about, I think the first one was like an hour and 45 minutes. The second one, the second night, the cocktail night was like two hours. And I think there were 17 dudes the next night. Um, and then Sluts on the Strip was all of us hot wives. Uh, we went out and like met fans out on the strip. Um, a couple, let's see, the, the, a couple of the husbands were there. My husband didn't go. Um, he was, you know, doing family stuff at home. And, um, just like meeting our fans and hopping around to different bars. We would tweet, you know, we're going to be here, you know, meet us there. We're going to be here and meet us there. Uh, we, I think there were about eight or nine fans that ended up showing up. Uh, our next one is going to be in Tampa in July, like uh, later July. And then September, we're going to Dallas. And then um, I think November, we're doing L.A. Oh, cool. So, yeah. And we're, we're growing, we're going to like a couple of the hot wives that were here in Ve or there in Vegas. Um, they, there, I think there's three that aren't going to be able to make it. So we're going to invite some other ones and, and more, you know, probably 10 instead of like six or seven. And then, um, probably the same amount of, of guys, because it was a, it was kind of a perfect ratio. Mm -hmm. Um, because, you know, you can only last for so long, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. the girls, the yeah. guys can, can, can go, but everybody starts getting a little, you know, wound down and tired after about two hours. Yeah. So, um, but we're going to invite new, new guy talents. Some are going to be invited back. The ones who are like a for sure thing, they can yeah. stay hard. They can, you know, come whenever they need to come. Yeah. Uh, they have the stamina, they're cute, they're respectful. Um, and you don't have to be a big name. You don't have to be, uh, an actual, you know, you can just be starting out in the business. Mm -hmm. You can't just be like a stranger off the street, right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, because, you know, everybody's safety is, is number one mm -hmm. priority. So, um, yeah, so we're just, we're going to build from there and it's called a tour. So we're just going to keep on going every couple of months. That's really cool. Yeah. So the night, the sluts on the strip mm -hmm. night, when you go and meet fans, just so like, like the fans are just going out to meet you guys and like hang out. Right. Like right. they're not getting any like sexual. So, um, me and Riley Ann, uh, we took home one guy because he had his, uh, STI paperwork, uh, TTS paperwork. Okay. Uh, and so he was a fan, he was but a fan. he went to TTS. He was cool. He Which, by the way, is a industry-specific testing facility. So if he went to TTS, that means that, like, he, he, he had was some clear. insight had, into the industry. Yeah, right. He has say. some insight. Um, he actually had an OnlyFans or has an OnlyFans tag. He just has never put anything on there. Okay. So he, he had done his research. Like right. he knows what to, what to do. Right. Um, and he was cool. He was calm. He wasn't, you know, aggressive or, mm -hmm. um, pushing for anything. Uh, he just, he fit the bill. Right. And, uh, me and Riley took him home to the hotel. Uh, had a lot of fun with him. We made a film. Uh, it, it'll be up on our only fans, all three of ours. So, um, it's not that anyone is, include, or it's not that everyone is included. If you're a fan, you literally have to do all of the right things. Mm -hmm. And from like, from this podcast, they will now know what to do. Yeah. They have to be respectful. Number one, and yeah, they cannot be pushy Yeah, and they have to just remain calm and cool, you know, and you know, don't smell, please like, please take a shower before. Mm -hmm. Um, 
and, you know, have your TTS testing, have your COVID testing. Um, you know, don't ask, let, let them ask you. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if, you know, any of the other girls did, but, uh, me and Riley did. So, okay. and I, I've done uh, fan fucks before, mm-hmm. uh, and, like I said, everything has to align correctly for that to happen. I just can't right. be a random stranger that's like, oh, I haven't had sex in a year and I'm clean. You know, I'm like, yeah. how do we know? You it's know? Also, I mean, it's almost like, you know, any guy that would just like go to the bar to try to like pick up a girl, like you're not guaranteed to go home right. with them. Right? right. Like you have to be. You have cool. to be asked. You have to be asked. Yeah. They have to be interested. Just Girls be- rule the world, man. Yeah. <laughs> and then just in this case, you have to come with proof of like a clean test right. and stuff like that, which, yep. which God, wouldn't that be nice if like guys that you randomly met at bars, like happened to have just, that on them, right? I'm totally for it. Like, you know, everybody just start getting tested, like, you know, every yeah. two weeks, like, you know, and don't, don't have unprotected sex after you've already been tested. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. that's just simple, like yeah. knowledge, you know? Yeah. 